Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Coffee Diaries. Coffee Diaries is a series that I've decided to start on this channel as a way to talk about all things blogging and photography because that is what I do for a living. So um, the format that um, the series is going to take um, is you guys will have to leave questions in the um, comment box down below that are photography and um, blogging related and I will tackle through them in the upcoming episodes. So feel free to, you know, ask as much as you can. Um, we might be getting a bit personal on here, but I don't know, but for now, we'll just stick to the photography and blogging format. So today's episode, oh, I've got my, it says coffee diaries because obviously you need to have a brew with you. I usually don't drink coffee only when I'm out. Um, I love tea. My favorite brew is tea, believe it or not. I just thought the series sounded better calling it coffee diaries rather than tea diaries. Yeah, yeah, Coffee Diaries sounds a lot better. So in today's um, Coffee Diaries episode, um, I will be talking about um, the key skills that you need as a blogger or that I found that you need as a blogger. So the first one I'm going to be um, talking about today is writing. As a blogger, I've found that you do need writing skills. For some people it comes naturally, but for others it does take a bit of practice. Um, like for me, I don't, I don't think it came naturally to me, but it's something that I've learned over time. And like with anything else, the more you do, the more you get better at it. Writing is very key because that is the way you communicate with your audience and the way you deliver a message can open up an avenue for people to um, um, raise issues or bring about um, very intellectual discussions, um, which is very, very um, interesting to see. Um, so yeah, writing is a skill that you definitely need. Um, so moving on to the second one, obviously I'm going to say you need photography skill. Photography is very important. Like I've seen a lot of bloggers um, who are not necessarily big in the sense of the word, who spend money paying or hiring professional photographers and I feel like especially if you're starting out blogging you do not need those additional expenses you literally can take beautiful images on your phone I mean we have iPhones that have depth of fields we have Samsung's we have LG phones that do really amazing job when it comes to photography and you can utilize those tools until you can save up to get a professional camera like we take a lot of self-portraits. All the pictures where you see myself and Craig in it, we put on the tripod, use the camera and build self-timer and we shoot ourselves. Like my friend who's also a blogger, Samio, takes the most amazing self-portraits. Like photography is easy. Like I said, with anything else, the more you practice, the more you get better at it. Um, and there are so many filters or editing apps that you can purchase or that you can use to make your pictures look a lot better. Um, because of platforms like Instagram, photography has become like um, a key skill to have a, as a blogger because that is a way to captivate your audience and keep them engaged. And even when they go on your blog, if they see that your photography is good, it kind of makes them want to stay longer. It's, it's just become a very visual platform. Um, so I would say photography skills is definitely one to pick up and you get to save money and not pay a photographer to take pictures of you. And I also feel like a lot of the magic happens when you don't have a professional photographer with you. So if you learn how to take pictures, when beautiful things are happening or you feel a moment that is what I capture it and you can just whoop out your camera and bang, you have the shot. You know, it saves you time, saves you money. It's a win-win situation. So the next one I'm going to talk about is creative direction. I feel like not many bloggers actually have this skill. For some, it does come naturally and for others it does take a bit of practice again um but i feel like it is a key skill that you need to have because that is what sets you apart from other bloggers like, especially in a world where almost everyone you meet um today is like a blogger so what kind of sets you apart from that blogger um is having strong creative direction brands pay bloggers who have strong creative direction more than they would pay someone who would just take a picture of a product rather than telling a story rather than having a visual story attached to it 
So creative direction is something that you definitely need. I did do um, a detailed blog post about it, actually two if I'm, if I'm not mistaken and I will link it in the description box down below and you can check it out. I feel like um, creative direction opens up avenues where brands can pay you to conduct campaigns for them that you don't necessarily need to share on your own platforms. So you kind of become an in-house consultant for the brand because you have all these great ideas that you can transpose into a campaign and then yield fantastic results for them saving them money all the while doing it because it would be a lot more expensive for them to hire like a professional photographer an app director and all of that and if you have that skill as a blogger that is what sets you apart from your peers and that is when the numbers don't necessarily matter in terms of following um so these are the three key skills I wanted to talk about that you need as a blogger but I feel like there are some other skills that you need as well and I'm not going to delve into it in detail but um, one of them being um, um, building key relationships uh, yeah you do need key relationships to survive in the industry whether it be uh, um, building relationships with bloggers alive because that is how you get to um, share ideas brainstorm but not just that, but also um, collaborating and creating something beautiful. Um, and another skill that I would say you need, people don't really like this one, but it must be done, is accounting skill. You don't need to be, you know, a chartered accountant or a qualified accountant. You just need to know basic accounting skill, know your income, understand your cash flow, and um, understand your costs um, because when the taxman does come knocking on the door you better be prepared to pay what you owe um, basically i have come to the end of this um, episode of um, coffee diaries i hope you guys have totally enjoyed it be sure to check out my blog i do have a section dedicated to bloggers where you can find useful tips if you're starting out um, blogging or if you feel like um you want to be more equipped in the world of blogging be sure to check out my instagram and follow me as well tweet me let's get the conversation going and until then i'll see you next time don't forget to leave your blogging and photography questions in the comment box down below and um, have a great time bye